I don't know. You know what that means. It's oil change time. And of course, the first thing we're going to need is some oil. You want to get the recommended oil for your vehicle. In my case, it's the 5W20. I like this Castro old GTX. They're not paying me money to make this video, but if they'd like to send me some, that'll be all right too. Also going to need an oil filter. Another thing that's good to have is a funnel. We will need a wrench to get the drain plug out. In my case, it's a 17 millimeter. That's the case on most all Hondas. And I employ the use of a cheater wrench. And we'll have more about that when we get ready to use it. And you'll need something to catch the used oil in. The first step is to drain your used oil. What I like to do is take the filler out. Take it off. You also notice on the cap, they usually have the recommended oil for your vehicle. The reason I take the cap off is it seems to allow the oil to drain faster. The next step is to take the drain plug out of the oil pan. Now your drain plug can be located in a variety of places depending on your vehicle, but it will always be located somewhere on the bottom of the oil pan. And this is our drain plug. Let's put our wrench on and we will employ the cheater wrench at this step. So you take your larger cheater wrench and put your boxed in inside the open end on your wrench you are actually using. And what that does is make the wrench longer giving you extra leverage to break that drain bolt. Now you want to put your drain pan in place so the oil will go into it. Take your drain plug the rest of the way out. I word on the drain plug, the drain plug contains a crush washer. Now if your drain plug is showing signs of um, leaking, it might be a good idea to replace this crush washer. You can pick these up at your uh, dealership for like change, like less than 50 cents usually. So. It might be a good idea to pick up a couple of them and just have them handy in case you ever need them. You can see our oil is pretty much drained, so we're going to go ahead and reinstall the drain plug. When you go to tighten this back up, you don't want to just kill it. Snug it up real good. Next up is to be removing the oil filter. It's located here back behind the passenger side of the front tire on our Honda Pilot. I have this piece of plastic folded up by the way get a better access to it so you want to put your drain pan up under the oil filter and just take the oil filter off and 
Now if you can't get your oil filter off by hand, that means A, it was put on too tight, and B, you will need a oil filter wrench or the lock to remove it. The old footer gets a little messy. There's just no two ways about it. Thing you want to make sure of here is make sure the gasket that is on the oil filter comes off with the oil filter and it's not left on the filter housing in this area. So I'll have to take some oil and put a little bit on the gasket. Now it is simply a matter of adding the oil. Did you funnel in? Add the oil, in my case, including the filter, it will be four and a half quarts. You want to locate your old dipstick, wipe it off, reinsert, check your oil. Everything looks good. We'll put our cap back on. Clear that pesky magnets reminder.